clear-eyed about the challenges posed by the PRC. The United States will advance a vision for the future that we share with so many others, a free, open, stable, and prosperous world, with countries upholding and updating the rules-based order that has, for years, safeguarded peace and security globally. We have no illusions about the challenges of managing this relationship. There are many issues on which we profoundly, even vehemently, disagree. We will always take the best course of action to advance the interests of the American people. But the United States has a long history of successfully managing complicated, consequential relationships through diplomacy. One of the important things for me to do on this trip was to disabuse our Chinese hosts of the notion that we are seeking to economically contain them. We're not. Uh, and as I've said, we are not about decoupling. We're about de-risking and diversifying. I raised as a priority the issue of synthetic opioids and fentanyl, a crisis in the United States. Fentanyl is the number one killer of Americans aged 18 to 49. I made clear that we need much greater cooperation to address this critical issue. We agreed to explore setting up a working group or joint effort so that we can shut off the flow of precursor chemicals, which help fuel this crisis and a growing number of deaths. We want to see growth. We want to see success in every part of the world, uh, including, of course, in the major economies like China. It's in our interest. Um, but at the same time, as I said, it's not in our interest to provide technology to China that could be used against us. And at a time when it's engaged in uh, a buildup of its nuclear weapons program in a very opaque way, when it's producing hypersonic missiles, when it's using technology for repressive purposes against its own people, um, how is it in our interest to provide those specific technologies uh, to China? And other countries feel uh, the same way. And as I said, we've not seen anything uh, right now to contradict that. But what we are concerned about is uh, private companies in China that may be providing um, assistance, in some cases dual use, in some case, cases clearly um, directed at uh, enhancing Russia's military capacity in Ukraine. Uh, that is a concern, and it's something that I pointed out to our Chinese counterparts and uh, urged that they be vigilant in policing that.